recommended that they be subjected to a disciplinary process. And Honorable Commissioner, let me also add here that in terms of due process and given our terms of reference, we were meant to identify any people we think have something to do with this bad image that was going on. <coughs> now, yeah, yeah, one can emphasize, to, allow, allow me to finish. Okay. Okay. One can say they were on national duty. They had been on national duty all along, even when some of them tested positive. Track and field, they are always on national duty, but they test positive. And they out there, the world was complaining, you Kenyans, you are playing that. You see, Prof, the, 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 the point that I'm driving across, you'll be the chief justice there, you can imagine, when you put on record somebody's name re regarding an allegation, you know, you've already defamed them. You, you, you know the implications of that. And removing that record, that's a record that will always follow them. You know, so that's why, and it's basic rules of natural justice. But we are not here to review the case, that matter, you know, because that's not, uh, you know, our jurisdiction, uh, so to speak. But uh, I, I, no, I, Honorable Commissioner, this is a very sensitive matter. The right people are looking at this, and I think uh, it's also good to give me a, uh, some latitude in time. Mm. This, our task force report was eventually given to the World Anti Doping Organization. It read, went through it. It then, we had identified three case studies athletics, FIFA, and World Rugby. It gave to those people, under paragraph three of the Nicholson report, which I furnished, the author commissioned by World Rugby says, yes, they received this report on the 22nd of, uh, that, uh, 22nd of October, 2014, from the World Anti-Doping Agency with a request to follow up on mm -hmm. the recommendations. Mm -hmm. Our main recommendation was subject them to a disciplinary process. From there, it was now up to World Rugby to verify whatever we had found and then see whether they need to be disciplined or not. And World Rugby did that. In fact, you know, you, you, you just preempted what I was going to come to, that uh, the World Rugby specific focus was whether there was any evidence to suggest that an anti-doping rule violation had occurred. Mm -hmm. And on March 10th, 2016, two years after your report, the Nicholson Committee, this is now the World uh, Rugby one, cleared Kenya rugby of all allegations. Isn't it? They cleared them completely. But you see now, clearing them, yes, but you'd already condemned them and had. That's, that's the point that I was, that I was trying to, to indicate, that two years later they are cleared, but you can imagine the anguish they go through, which is now why I'm, I'm worried that if you became now the Chief Justice, because it's a quality about drawing conclusions, rushing to judgment without giving an opportunity to somebody to be heard. That's, that's the point that I'm, I'm trying to, 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 to address, you know, considering that this is going to be a Chief Justice, Chief Justice uh, Professor mm -hmm. Moni Wekesa. That's, that's my worry. But as a last point uh, on this issue that we can close the matter. Now, at the time when you're doing those, uh, that research or investigations, now, the only accredited WADA laboratory in Kenya, I'm sorry, in Africa, was only one, isn't it? The only accredited laboratory, WADA accredited mm -hmm. laboratory. Where was it? At the, <coughs> at, the, at the Free University in Bloemfontein. Exactly. Now, so the samples that you used, which laboratory did you send them to? Yes. The laboratory we sent them to is marked as under Appendix 6 of which, the report. Which, which laboratory? This is the Drug Research and Analysis Laboratory of the University of Nairobi School of Pharmacy. Now, you see, now you, you see, uh, I'm coming to that, uh, Honorable Chair. Yeah. Sorry, Honorable Commissioner. It's because uh, the Chair has given us <laughs> very specific <laughs> time. That's why no, you can no, see I'm trying to rush no, you. No, it's okay. Yeah. I've seen in the complaint somebody mentioning that lab. 
At the time we asked that lab, they told us they don't deal with foods. I have now finished the commission with a printout from the website which says the laboratory only handles urine and blood samples. So even at that time, the, that laboratory was not available. I consulted. We have an Africa representative for water based in, in Cape Town. I consulted him. We checked with that lab. It said it could not handle. So uh, we used preliminary results. And I think it's also good to point out that at paragraph 16, point two four of the Nicholson report they say that yes the task force relied on the results of the Daru lab we did not condemn anybody and had we collected information from several sources I have furnished invitation letters that went out to the chair of rugby the complaint there is that we never invited rugby to appear. Rugby appeared in a very big way. All right, thank you. Uh, that's all, Honorable Chair. Thank you, thank you, uh, Commissioner Ochevia. Thank you, Professor. Um, uh, commissioners, let us take a few minutes break. I will come back five minutes to noon. Um, Professor, Madam Anne will come for you and take you where you can go and get some rest. Thank you.